As we have made clear from the start, our government's top priority is to regain full market access to our canola seed exports to China. Canada's farmers should know that we have their backs. While we always push for further high-level technical discussions with China, our government continues to listen and act to make sure farmers have the support they need. That is why today we are announcing that we are making changes to the advanced payments program that supports farmers. For 2019, we are increasing the maximum loan limit for all farmers from $400,000 to $1 million. For canola farmers, we are also increasing the interest-free portion from $100,000 to $500,000. These measures will give canola producers the support they need to manage their cash flow. And it will give them the flexibility to sell their canola at the best time, at the best price. I know from speaking with industry officials and governments in key emerging markets that there is strong interest around increasing canola trade with Canada. And in this spirit, I am pleased to announce I will be leading a canola trade mission to Japan and South Korea in early June. And we will be working closely with the sector to identify other opportunities for trade missions in Asia as well. We know that this is a, a conflict that, uh, or a challenge that is not just between Canada and China, has geopolitical implications. We continue to work very, very hard on, uh, on how we move forward and in, mostly in standing up for Canadians.